How has your journey been with music that's led you up to this point? Um, the elevator pitch of it. Started the band up in 2020, like the latter half of it, or like midway through, I guess. Um, but ever since that's been going, man, it's just been like a, a privilege to do what I get to do and like to have these guys around me to do it. Um, and I don't know, I could be like more, I couldn't be more thankful for it, I think. And like the guys that I do it with, we've cycled through a bunch of people, but like these are, these are my boys, these are like family to me. My journey with music kind of started when I was in like first grade. Um, I just, my parents and like my family all were like musicians, so my dad taught me how to play guitar. Never took any like formal lessons or anything like that, so it was just kind of like one of those things that I was always around in my home. Um, and then slowly it started kind of progressing into more of like a love and passion. Even as a, at a young age, I was like, I knew that playing music was something I wanted to do with my life. Um, like even in elementary school, I think we had like a some sort of like contest to write a song and I wrote a song for it like won the contest. So it was like definitely something that like I knew that it was like kind of my destiny to do something like that. Um, after that I think my favorite memory was our first show with savings when we played in uh, we played in the store because uh, our show got canceled outside because it was raining so we went inside and just seeing everyone mosh to our songs was super cool. Was that the moment that you knew like hey I could do this forever? Yeah, it, was, it definitely was. was in band in high school and middle school um, but the funny thing was I was never percussionist hmm. um, my seventh grade years when I started in band and they had us like testing different instruments and apparently I was a terrible snare drum player so they actually stuck me on tuba and I ended up learning how to play tuba and trombone and I can play other brass instruments as well but I was mostly on, on the lower end of brass the low brass um, and I did that for quite a while high school I was a section leader for two years for the tuba section um, so I, I would like to think that I was pretty good at that too, but um, kind of just fell out of, you know, concert band or jazz band or anything yeah. like that. I really just wanted to play rock music more than anything. Play drums, hit stuff hard, play fast. <laughs> I got to know everybody individually and in different ways, but Dawson specifically, I figured I kind of like figured out the kind of person he is and what like like his personality when we were on like a Universal trip. 
Like we went to we went to Universal. We did like Halloween Horror Nights and stuff like that. But the funniest thing happened where he needed some time to like decompress. Like we don't. But he was hangry. He, he was hangry. You know, he like left, kind of pissed off. He like went and got food. Came back, and I, the the first thing he had on was this like dinosaur helmet that had a mouth on it. And he walked up to me, and he was like, Rah! like that on there. And I was like, and I looked at him like, what in the like what in the hell? And then later on that day, we got on this one particular ride, and like the, he was sitting up front, he still had the mask on, and the, and the attendant there was like, you need to take that off. It was a Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, it was a Jurassic that's Park. That's so yeah. funny. And he was sitting, and she was like, you need to take that off. And he got so upset, he took it off, and like put his head down. And I was like, that's that's Dawson. Awesome. singing our lyrics back to us and like playing for a good amount of people and them knowing like what the songs are written about and them being like related to that and they can like have that passion that we wrote when we or like have that same passion that we had when we wrote the song too because um, I think that's what music's about and being able to do that for somebody is just like huge so probably those moments if all I need is for the world to crash around me Um, okay, so my first show was actually one of my high school bands. I was a freshman in high school, and uh, we had a, a little band built out of basically like our, our youth group um, and a couple friends, and uh, we wanted to play a show so bad, and we were youth ministers, so we talked to our youth leader, um, who's actually the one getting paid by the church to run youth group, and we convinced him to put on basically like a talent show at the church for all of the youth members and our band played that as our first show um, and it was really fun we had a blast there was some really other great art that we didn't even realize was in our youth group and that really just made us want to be artists or made me want to be artists more so an artist more so just because seeing some of these people that had this this capability of creating great art within them and they never really expressed it I never wanted to really be that person. Anything that I do, I want people to to know that I'm capable of. So yeah. I was just I was very driven at that point. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play drums every single day um, of my life. I'm gonna play drums the day I die. You know that that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's just kind of where I guess a lot of the motivation started was just from seeing other people just express themselves, and I was like, how can I do that best? Yeah. years ago seven years ago and I was self-taught for the first year that I started playing and then uh, I went to School of Rock which is like a music school sort of thing and I did that for four years and that really taught me a lot and how to play with bands and how to communicate as a musician and being able, being able to do stuff like that and after I was done with School of Rock I ended up meeting Sam and we ended up starting savings and having a blast. Was there ever a moment you felt like giving up? Oh yeah, um, honestly, like I think at its peak, because there was always times where I was like, man, like I was, you know, go, whether it be going through anxiety or depression outside of music in general, like it always felt like, hey, this is stressful, like I, I, I don't know if I can make a career off of this, and just having those kind of intrusive thoughts kind of definitely spanned into that for sure. What kept you going? The only thing that kept me going was every time that I would go record music or write music and, you know, go into a recording studio and kind of be creative and then find, see the final product. That has always is what kept me going in terms of like being like, hey, like I know I can do this. Um, that was kind of the validation that I needed. So you can keep your pick your fence. Boasting all your confidence, it's overrated now. Marry that 
23, that sort of thing never appealed to me. It's overrated. I don't wanna be. Did you really think that that was it? I, I guess I could start. Do you want me to start with like Chin Up Champ and then you go from there and kind of yeah. do that? Yeah, let's start with that. I'm down. We all know where to say. I have it. Cool, go for it. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, chin Up Champ for me is more about like mental health and the struggle of like you're kind of like falling but you, you really can't like get yourself out of it. Yeah. Um. American Psycho. Um, American Psycho, I personally wrote about like leaving the mega church community, but it's more about just like not conforming to whatever community or like society feels like they should put you in, whether it be like a box or yeah. what you should do, what you should work, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, ego. I kind of, I, I kind of see it as like. Um, having your own self, like when you're by yourself, and then like a face that you show to other people. That's exactly what I, like. That's what? like that's like how I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just trying to figure it out. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. And uh, the head of lettuce sunk the ship. Yeah, that one's just about like going through moments in life where you feel like you should be happy, and like it still feels like empty at times, and trying to find that balance, I guess. Yeah, and I, I think our hope with all these songs in general, I just hope people can relate to it, and like, we're all dealing with the same things regardless of if you play music or not, like everybody has the same emotions, but we just like are trying to express it through the song, sort of thing. We forgot Found a Date, but it's about... Found a Date, yeah. Well, it's about loving somebody that you can't love yet. About loving somebody that you can't love yet. <laughs>